Good morning. I'm waiting for my coffee to heat up. Um, just kind of really wanted to check in with you guys, see how you're doing, um, and give you an update with my bipolar uh, 2. I have not been to the psychiatrist in a while. Um, for some reason, I have it in my mind that they think that I'm lying to them. Um, and I know that's crazy. I know how I feel and I know what is real, but you know, when you try to explain it to people that my coffee is done, when you try to explain it to people that just really don't get it, they don't understand, even if they're in that field, they just still don't get it. They don't understand. They look at you like, you know, like a deer in headlights and <clears throat> it's just a very uncomfortable feeling for me. Um, also, <clears throat> my ex-best friend in high school works there, um, and we became enemies quite, like, a lot, um, in high school. She did some things to me, I did some things to her, um, and she knows a lot of people that I know. So, not trying to, like, put my business out there, um, to people here, but... I want to put my business out there. I want to feel comfortable. Um, I'm putting it out here for you guys to see it and share in hopes that it helps people. Um, you know, and I'm trying to get better with sharing my bad days because it's not easy um, to turn on the camera and try to put some negative stuff out there. Nobody wants to really listen to people be negative, but uh, this is real life stuff, and this is what really goes on, and I've just been feeling on edge, pissed off, um, for no reason. I'm going back into some of my old thoughts, um, and I think that if I wouldn't have been doing this self-help, it would have gone into a deeper uh, hole, but you cannot help really um, being in in this kind of mindset. It's like, um, Brody. See, I'm just getting irritated at the smallest things. So, um, yeah, yesterday I had to be on the phones to, um, uh, customer service, customer uh, call center or whatever. And my call got escalated. And it really, it was like a big deal. Um, because there was a $400 difference on a check that we had received. Um, and they deposited the amount and then they deducted the amount that it was supposed to be. Um, anyways, it's a long story. But I basically, in turn, showed my ass. Um... And just really gave something, someone an ass chewing that they did not um, themselves deserve. I have now, like, I've taken it to the extreme. I have um, contacted, like, the branch manager and all of that stuff. And, um, you know, it just shows you how out of control it can get. Uh, not only that, but... I spent money yesterday and I'm trying so hard to save money and when I get in these things I think it's it's because I want to make myself feel better and still go back to those old habits that thinking that purchasing things are going to make me happy which is totally not like me that's not what I want for my life it's um it's almost like I have multiple personalities, um, you know? The real me wants to be free and happy and peaceful and zen and, uh, you know, minimal. I want to live on the smallest amount of things, but when I get, like, in this irritated, like, want to punch everybody in their face kind of mindset, um, it all goes out the window. And with that being said, you know, I just, um... Uh, you take it out on the people that you love the most, and I am really trying hard not to do that. Um, 
it's been a while since it's been this tough and I think I play it up like I feel like um, I'm appearing like I'm in a good mood um, to you guys still so that mask is still not all the way off I don't feel like but um, yeah there's there's just um, it's bad I need to make an appointment um, she did give me something for my anxiety when I'm around people, especially around the holidays. Um, and that stuff helps, but, you know, it's more of my anger and my thoughts that I'm telling myself. And my uncontrollable um, fits, I guess, that I have. Um, acting like a spoiled little brat uh, at times. But I know that I'm aware I'm doing it. Um, yet I still do it and I still find ways to bitch about things and I have no right to do that. Like, there are people that really are out there that have a right to bitch. I am just happy that I'm breathing and I'm alive. Like, I'm thankful. However, I'm just pissy about being, you know, here right now and everything that's happening in it. That noise that the cat is drinking the water out of, that sound where my dog's licking himself. Um, Chase tried to tickle me this morning, like poke me in the ribs and like, that just was not a good idea. Um, all of the songs on the radio just were not what I wanted to hear. Like I just couldn't fine tune it to make it to where I was comfortable, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. So I'm sorry this video is shaky. I see that it's almost seven minutes long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upload it raw and um, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll keep you updated, and um, hopefully I'll be making some other types of videos soon. I don't know. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is promised. But I do love you guys so, so much, and I appreciate you, each and every one of you. And if you're not feeling love today, even though I'm not in the greatest mood, I still do love, love you guys. And um, wish you guys so much peace and happiness in today or night, wherever you are. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.